Artists in West and Southern Africa are likely to make 10 times more in sales than their East African counterparts due to exposure of their work to international markets. But here in Kenya, artists have been making use of the art auctions held each year to showcase their work and drive sales. Here is more. Art galleries and auctions are now considered to be the driver of growth for the Kenyan art industry as more artists flock the facilities to showcase their work to local and international markets. Things are changing. People have started moving out into the suburbs like we have and art space and others are, who have opened up art galleries. Therefore, the rent is cheaper compared to being in the middle of town. There are more and more galleries opening, which is great because it means more and more exposure to the art to a gener younger generation and to the older generation and to develop the art in East Africa. I mean, we hold exhibitions here from Uganda, from Sudan, from you know, Ethiopia, which, Tanzania, which have all been very successful. And we also hold the annual auction with artwork from the whole region, you know, what we call the greater East Africa rather than just the three countries. And the auctions have done really well. We have sold pieces up to $20,000 each. Right now we are on a positive path because uh, we are uh, getting more galleries coming up. We are getting more people dealing in art. Some based here, some are just coming into the country, looking around, getting artists to work with, and then uh, they go back like uh, like later the, in terms of like they collect your works and go and sell it somewhere, show it somewhere. Yeah. Despite the steady growth, East African artists reckon that the region lags behind compared to South Africa and Nigeria. West Africa and South Africa, the government has really supported the arts. They get involved in every way. In East Africa, this is not the case. Uganda, yes. You, but the, with the university there, the government is slightly involved, but not as much as South Africa or West Africa. Um, the other thing is, West Africa and South Africa have auction houses, which lift the market up a lot. Yeah. Kenya, we were the first one to start an auction house in Kenya, but we've had three auctions so far, and that gets us publicity outside, etc. More and more outsiders are looking at East African art now than they did before. Traditionally, local artwork has only received appreciation from foreign buyers, but industry players are hoping that the increase in local auctions and consumer education initiatives will improve consumption. You'll notice that every year, um, the Corner Trust does an art fair, um, Nairobi Art Fair at Surrey Centre. We've done a paper exhibition. Others also, like the museum has also done cheap art. What we do once a year is to have art for sale which is very affordable, anything from $100 upwards, rather than starting at $10,000 or whatever. So we are trying to take art to the people. And we're hoping, it's, it's a slow process, it's, it's not gonna happen overnight, but, but more and more young people are starting to appreciate art. We as artists are the ones who need to pressurize the government. We, go, we need to go out and meet them. We are artists, this is what we can do. We can educate uh, people on the arts, uh, I mean, the world now is focusing more on, uh, on creativity. So we think that if people are taught to be creative, they'd really uh, start their own stuff. You know, you can be self-employed, you can... The world is moving towards creativity, that's what I can say. But even with low revenue from local market, Kenyan artists are still able to lead a decent career growth within the industry. They further say that the sector has great investment potential. I started out as an illustrator and moved on to painting, you know, working with, uh, with pastels, with oil pastels, and now I'm creating just artworks, you know, I'm using metal and acid and water and rust. So uh, from working as an illustrator with pencils and ink to working with normal materials, conventional materials, to creating my own materials. Uh, let me say in East Africa, I've done exhibitions all over East Africa uh, and uh, probably in Europe, uh, there's an exhibition that's being organized there. So um, I work here and I aim to sell my work all over the world. 
but then again, it's a, a process. It's something you do like step by step by step. Yeah. Investing in art is is happening. People have started investing in art because art. <clears throat> if you buy a piece of art today, in ten years' time, it'll be worth much more. I mean, I'm not saying you buy art because of that only. You buy art because you love that piece of art, and it will grow in value. Therefore, it will eventually become like Nigeria or South Africa, where it is part of the economy. But we've got a long way to go.